Starting around the Enlightenment, uh, people started to view certainty uh, and confidence as sort of a, a, existing along one axis. So you know, you'd say, okay, well, I've got an axis, and uh, as, as I move along this axis, I go from you know, very low confidence over here, and I just increase my confidence, increase my confidence, increase my confidence, and then certainty is the point at infinity that's all the way up there where I've gotten all the evidence at all points the right thing. It all agrees. There's no possible gap, and there, there's certainty way, way out there. Um, and this was primarily a philosophical idea. Uh, it, it applied to some extent within mathematics. Uh, but then it got transferred over into the physical sciences. Um, so the, the idea was that, oh, this same picture should apply to everything. Um, and it turns out that idea is pretty useless in the physical sciences, uh, because I can gather lots of evidence about anything I want, uh, but there's always more evidence that I have not yet gathered, or didn't bother to gather, or that turned the experiment turned out bad, and I don't know why. There's always a black swan somewhere you yeah. just haven't seen. And, and so you know, there's always you know this this data. You know, maybe it's all in agreement. Usually, it's not all in agreement. But you know, I, I've I've got some amount of confidence that I build up based on evidence. But certainty is out there, and I'm never ever going to get there. And it's not because there's any gap in reality or anything like that. It's just a a function of our finiteness as human beings. Uh, and so that idea of certainty was just simply not useful uh, in the sciences. Um, but at the same time, there is a form of certainty that is useful in life, uh, which is that you know at some point I've you know I've got some amount of evidence, I've got some amount of confidence, and the point at which I have to declare some form of certainty is when I have to make a decision. So if I'm going to get on a plane, I might have some degree of evidence the plane's not going to crash, but if I'm going to get on the plane, I really need to have a different kind of something that says, ah, oh, no, this plane's really not going to crash. I'm, I'm certain. Even though I haven't reached that point at infinity where there's no longer any room for doubt, I'm still going to get on the plane, which is a form of certainty. Yeah. So it's certainty to act. Uh, and actually, uh, this is the, the, the way that you get from the sort of confidence that you can get to that certainty to act is where the term the leap of faith uh, was actually coined. was the idea not that there's a gap in our understanding that can never be filled, but there's just always some gap between the knowledge we have now and the decision we might need to immediately make. Yeah. Uh, and getting to that decisive point is, is, a, is, is accessed through a different kind of knowing, not the sort of scientific evidence gathering, but it builds on the evidence you've gathered and makes a leap to faith.